Awesome. Let's talk about some of the flags for communication. You outlined that there are things that um, people who are on these sites can look out for when they're communicating with someone they um, might, that might be posing as a love interest that they don't know and have never met face to face. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the flags. So um, they typically will not be local. So the where they live in relation to you is going to be essentially like on the opposite side of the world. So they live very, very far away. Um, and then if you are, when you do ask to meet and they give several excuses, that can be another red flag. Um, and it's, it's a good thing to do it from the start to try to move them to something uh, visual um, like a, a video chat. And um, typically if they're fake, they're not going to want to, they're not able to go on a video chat because they're not that person behind the picture. It's a different person. Um, so whether you ask for several pictures or you can kind of personalize like, Hey, can you, you know, um, show me, can you take a picture with a cat, your cat, you know, if they mention they have a cat or something like that. And then if you ask for a very specific type of photo and they can't give that in return, it, can be a red flag that they are not who is in that um, picture that they're saying. And then if you, if you, if they're trying to take things very fast, so if they're saying, can you buy me, can you send me money to buy a plane ticket for me to come see you? Um, and it's in a very short amount of time, more than likely that money is not for the plane ticket. It's for them to, to keep and to, um, successfully accomplish that scam 